I was listening to Bishop Oedeko many years ago. He said he was preaching in church and he saw somebody that was not concentrating while they were in Kaduna. After service, he met him. I said, what happened? The guy said, honestly, he saw that he didn't follow the service. Why? He said there was no food at home. He gave all that he had. Forgetting that he too was going to a house. And today you see 200,000 people attend a Sunday service. You say, no, we have the faith to take over this city. When we bring 20. <laughs> Some people preach the doctrine of loyalty until loyalty becomes Jesus. Because they want everybody to be submitted to them. Meanwhile, they have no love for those people. This same man we are talking about, many years ago, when he just got married, there were seven of them in one room. How can you keep six men with your wife, newly wed? And he said, 5 a.m., everybody leaves the house. And no matter what you are doing, from 4 p.m., no visitors. That's how they ran their lives for over three years. And today, you see people like Bishop Abioye follow him die hard. You say, ah, can you imagine? Uh, where are the Abioyes of our generation? Do you know the love that he enjoyed from the man? Bishop Abioye slept on bench in Meduguri for over two years. But before that level of loyalty was engendered, there was a love that was received. He saw when they lived in the same house. Do you know how inconvenient it is to get married to a young lady? and then bring her to live with seven people in one room. That means the early marriage was robbed. He didn't know what it meant to enjoy early marriage. And then today you see men loyal to them. You come and stand on Facebook. You say some men have become gods. They manipulate with you. <laughs> if, it's because we're in the era of grace. God would have killed you. And people don't know the truth. They come. Some carry loyalty as a weapon. They preach 30 script, 30 messages. 29 is about loyalty. Because they want you to die for them. Meanwhile, do you think people are loyal because you taught, taught them message on loyalty? When they see love in your heart, it provokes their conscience. They cannot. See, dying for you becomes an honor. That's what David did. David went to war with his warriors. David sat together, ate with them. They experienced everything together. When those men died for David, they called it an honor. A comrade spirit was born. Not because he sat down and used scripture to manipulate people into loyalty. No, there was too much love for this man to betray him. There was too much love for this man to compromise. They knew that this man loved them genuinely. When you find ambitious people, they are not interested in impact. You are with them for 10 years. They don't care about the quality of your life. They are only interested in how you will serve them and perform so that all things will look well. And then you are killing people say they are saying they are not loyal. Come on. Forget that charade. As you see Bishop Abiyo and Bishop Oedeko, what's the difference? In the same ministry, he ordained himself. He was ordained bishop. He ordained Abiyo as bishop. If he shows up, the quality of his life is the same quality you see in Abiyo's life. So if you cannot love like Oedeko, don't expect a lawyer abuse. Ambition, ambition. People using people and then trying to use the gospel to masquerade. In, forget it. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. I saw Pastor Chris and Reverend Tom. They work together like friends. The, the level of commitment is too deep. See, some of these men what they share is deeper than even what they have with their wives. And then you wonder why people commit themselves. Our dinner, my, my, one of my sons wrote recently, he said, the brotherhood is no longer sincere. The brotherhood, the brotherhood has been 